What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to continue working on the camper trailer. Uh, you might have seen in the last video we took it out for a first test, just to see how it all went. Um, one of the LED strips isn't working on this side, just the long one on that end. So hopefully we might get to that today. Uh, I'm going to continue working on the radio box, cut out a new switch panel that I've got. So I've got bulk gauge, USB outlets and a cigarette lighter outlet. So I'll mount that up. Um, I'm not boxing the rest, mount a speaker up. And yeah, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so I've cut this panel out here off camera. As you've just seen in the last video, um, I cut the speaker hole a little bit too big. So I've cut it out again with some fresh material. Um, this switch panel here won't actually get in. The fire extinguisher's there. So I'll possibly end up moving that. But that's it in there. I'll have to screw that up nice and neat. Level. But with the fire extinguisher in, it's just going to be slightly too hard to get into the USB point there, unless if I switch the fault gauge over. Um, and then just at the top, in the back, it sort of moves a bit. So I've got a piece of wood we're going to just glue to the top of the steel and then just bolt into there. So we'll get doing that now. Measure this piece of wood out um, from the top beam support to the edge of the radio trim that I've made and it's worked out to be about 100 mil so I'll just cut this up all right so we're just using a little bit of roof and gutter silicon I'm just going to run it down on the edge so I'll just Hold it up there and get a bit of support. Uh, I'll just put one screw in it for now. You can always have more later.
um, that's the uh, back side of the panel that we just mounted up. So I want to put another one up here and put a speaker inside. So we'll get to doing that now. And then we might even put one on the edge there. this stuff fit good so I might just leave this end for now so I can do all the wiring and get that tidied up I would like to sheet most of this in and, and build some cupboards so you can open it up and get some more storage because we don't have a whole heap of storage in here but I think the next thing to do is probably to jump on when we out the air compressor and then we might uh, mount up the wiring for those LED strips on the other side stripping off the edge of the weatherproofing on these strips and soldering on some new wires. Hopefully this side works unlike the other side. Now if these don't work might end up just getting some magnetic ones off ebay or something all right guys so there we are that's soldered up um lesson has been learned because uh that there doesn't work i did connect it up and it still won't work so um buying led strips off ebay is probably not the best idea and they probably won't even last that long so i'll have to end up replacing them with something else down the track but even if we have a look on the other side These aren't powered on yet, but this is the only side that was working up here. Um, but these are all okay. They're all soldered like they're meant to be. And it's just not working. So I'll probably end up getting some sort of magnetic strip on um, a backing that can just sit up there and, and do it that way. And if they ever have an issue, we can just remove it instead of super gluing it to the door and now I have to pull it all off. But that's all right, that's lesson learned. Alright guys, I've been asked a couple of times about stabiliser legs on the camper for when um, the rooftop tent's out and just adding a little bit more st uh, stability to the back. So I'm actually trying to look into maybe making a set of my own just of electric ones. I'd like to be able to slide them into the ends there and then have a connector that you plug in and just flick one of these switches up here and they both come down at the same time. I think that'd be really cool and something different. 
Um, but yeah, that's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, um, check out some of my other videos. I think you'll really like them. Um, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time.